My name is Wade Nomura, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. One of the things that Rotary does and does quite well is to try and brand itself. It puts out things that show Rotary, Rotary and what we do. One of the companies that does this is a company called Russell Hampton, and I had the privilege and opportunity to work with them. By the way, all of the posters we have in the studio are all done by Russell Hampton. Um, John, I'm sorry, Joe Beveridge is uh, one of the presidents, actually he is the president of Russell Hampton, and I want to show you through him what they do there. With that, enjoy the video. Thank you. Hi, and welcome to Russell Hampton. My name is Joe Beveridge. I am the president and generation four in the family business. Uh, so first of all, thank you for joining us. Uh, I'll be looking forward to sharing a bit more about Russell Hampton's history and just about uh, our business in general. So uh, with that, the Russell Hampton Company was founded in 1920, uh, actually by my wife's great-grandfather, who uh, got tired of running down, running around downtown Chicago trying to obtain uh, items for his Rotary Club supplies, and thought there should be a easy and convenient one-stop shop, and thus the birth of Russell Hampton Company. And actually, uh, my wife's great-grandfather and his business partner are the ones that founded it, and I'm sure as you've guessed by now, their names were Hepner and McCready. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hepner and McCready. Uh, yes, so strange but true fact number one. Um, my wife's great grandfather and his business partner pointed to a map in the United States, and one landed on Russell County, Kansas, and the other landed on Hampton County, South Carolina, and that is how the name Russell Hampton came about. So strange but true. Uh, strange but two, true fact number two is that, uh, as I said, I'm generation number four. However, I am the third son-in-law. So our current CEO, Bob Lau, is generation three. He was a son-in-law. His father-in-law was a son-in-law. So, uh, And um, with that, I'd like to show you over here a little bit of the family history. Uh, it's some old catalogs and pictures of the uh, four generations. Join me. Here are some photos of the four generations of Russell Hampton Company, along with uh, several different catalogs going back for decades. Down at the very bottom, we have the, the founder. We have Edwin McCready. And as mentioned previously, then it was Russell Hampton went down to his son-in-law. Uh, it says Henry, but he went by Hank Hamblin. And then to Generation 3 son-in-law, uh, Robert, a.k.a. Bob, um, who is our current CEO and still here um, in the building. We'll find him and, and uh, his wife, Kathy, are both involved uh, today as well. And, and say hello. And then uh, finally, myself, Generation 4. And so, as you can see down below, these catalogs span back uh, decades. And then also, um, when Russell Hampton originated, it was... Uh, while Rotary has always been the focus and the base, it did, it did start with uh, fraternal organizations in general. So you can see we actually have a, a very old Kiwanis and Exchange Club supplies uh, manual there as well. Here we are in the central hub of the Russell Hampton office, which is where our customer service is. Um, and here we keep uh, three full-time customer service reps here on staff. They're extremely knowledgeable, uh, can answer any and all of your questions about your Rotary product merchandise, not only that we stock here, but also can help you with your needs uh, for non-stock items and, and special custom things that you might need for your other events. Um, and, and that being said, um, Jason, running the camera, actually is the uh, gentleman that handles all non-stock and all custom orders. So that would be anything from as simple as wanting a shirt in a color that we don't carry here in-house. Uh, whether it's maybe adding your name to one of our existing items, or your club name, event name, or if it's completely custom, uh, getting an item, maybe you have a golf tournament and you want some divot tools and uh, some tees and a towel, Jason's your guy. And so um, the other thing is, is we are probably highly underutilized is that we do this day in, day out, and 
and not just here selling things as a commodity, but also as a resource. Please um, use us to help you with idea generation and uh, to make your events uh, even better. Um, with that, I'm going to take you and show you uh, the room where we do our embroidery. before uh, we have both stock items and then we have our custom and non-stock items and here is our purchasing department and they are in charge of making sure we have stock on all the things that you will find on our website and in our catalog so uh, when we're able to turn your item in two or three days uh, they're a part of that and, and uh, making sure we have have you everything here uh, anything on the back door order my name's Catherine you know how to call uh, when it's not here so, and then Jason will give you a quick shot here. We also keep our safe in here, um, and it's a, it's a really cool old safe um, where we actually keep all of the uh, gold and diamond pins. Um, and some of you may have been uh, fortunate enough to get one for being either a uh, governor, past governor, president, past president. In here is where we do all of the club and district banners, the, the big blue felt banners uh, that have been a tradition in Rotary for decades. Um, and so this is a, a very labor-intensive process actually where um, the banners get laid out, get measured and cut and all of the letters depending on what size they are get spaced and so put down uh, exactly perfect by Tina so you can uh, call and thank her when you get an awesome banner in uh, probably less than four weeks. Um, so what she's doing here is she's taking all of these letters and the letters are pre-cut um, and she's taping them down with a special tape uh, that's meant for to be pre under heat and so after it's all spaced and put down perfectly um, that we put under the heat press that will keep the letters in place uh, enough not permanently but enough for her to be able to sew around each of them uh, without them moving and then as you can see uh, back around here is one that has been laid out and it's ready for inspection and then it looks like Yep, and then, then it's going to go and actually get sewn. This has been taped, pressed, and next step is for uh, Tina to do her magic. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this area of Russell Hampton, and we're going to move on to engraving. Welcome to the engraving room. Uh, in here you're going to see several things. Uh, we have a very traditional rotary engraving machine that we're going to show you that gives you the nice... Uh, etched satin brass plates uh, that you may have seen on some of the gavel plaques and that goes back again spans back decades uh, we're going to show you some of our laser engraving equipment as well as some of the equipment where we make badges so uh, with that we're going to actually start here with the rotary engraving uh, pieces and I'll show you this first machine this is um, this technology has been around for decades and this is how they're all done uh, way way before my time but uh, as you can see, the machine uh, spins and actually has a diamond tip and it will actually go around each individual letter um, and etching in one at a time. And it'll give you this nice little, if you rub your finger over it, you can actually feel the grooves. Um, and then we go over it with the darkening agent that's actually an oxidizer and, and does what it would do naturally in uh, just left to open air. Um, but so we still do quite a bit of this. Uh, if you were past president, I'm sure you've got our uh, item 34105 gavel plaque uh, with this engraving plate. They're wonderful. Um, now over here to uh, my right, your left, um, are the, the round name badges, a, a rotary staple and tradition. Um, and they start out here on a single sheet of paper. We take the names, 
uh, they all get imprinted and then they get uh, actually the papers get stamped out here as you can see and uh, obviously proofed we don't hate to misspell your name from there it uh, comes over gets the badge parts here um, put together and put in the press and uh, as you will know of many of you that have shopped with us you have your choice of clip backs and magnet backs we get the appropriate back stamp the badge and uh, out the door it goes um, also uh, along the same lines as badges uh, I have a little printout here um, these are actually made in this department uh, right now but uh, we make them in-house our, our credit card style badges where it's a full color dye sublimated badge and they're nice they're the size of a credit card uh, they don't scratch they're flexible um, and as I said you get full color so these are wonderful we do a lot with the theme as you can see here and then also we have a lot of clubs that have been getting these um, custom made specific for their club one for the full color two because they're very inexpensive and they have a, a really nice high perceived value um, and then not shown here the newest one are the acrylic badges um, which again are full color um, made out of a, a quarter inch acrylic and they're full uh, color imprinted on the reverse side and uh, and are really nice as well so uh, from here we're going to take you to the other side of engraving department and we're going to show you the laser engravers and some of the items on that end as well on this side of the room we have the laser engravers that we told you about and these are fantastic because of the number of materials that they can do a lot of your clubs have got the engraved plastic badges, which we're going to show you over here. It has the plastics, it does our black brass um, plates. If you've ever had an award, um, beautiful black brass plates. Anything glass, crystal, wood, marble, it all gets done over here. And as you'll see here momentarily, instead of doing one letter at a time, it'll do broad sweeps of the whole thing. Um, and also, since it's digital, uh, we're not limited to any fonts or designs, um, so it really along with the increased amount of efficiency, it also gives us a lot more freedom uh, for design work as well. So it gets you a really nice product. So come this way. Teresa is actually the engraving manager. She's gonna get this going and she works back here with her sister, Tina. Uh, so it's a family business here in more th way than one. Um, and, and here we're gonna see we actually have, um, this is engraver's plastic. It's, it's uh, white that will engrave black. You can see here, this one, we put a, honey, a honeycomb board in it because as you can see here, not only will it go through and etch it, but then afterwards it's gonna cut out the badge in whatever shape and size uh, we tell it to. So, and then it's gonna get loud. We gotta turn the exhaust fans on, so bear with us. And you can see here, uh, what Therese is doing is taping down the plastic so it doesn't move and she's also focusing, because uh, it is laser, it does need to have uh, the right focus so that it gets a really mm -hmm. crystal clear etch and uh, be able to cut. You can see the speed it does that with just one badge. Uh, obviously for us, for efficiency, it's, it's better if we get a whole sheet with all the names. Um, and this thing will go the whole side to side, which is uh, roughly uh, 30 inches by 16 inches so we can fit a lot in there. The other neat thing is at the speed it goes, if we wanted to do it one more time, we could hit repeat. It would go at this exact same speed uh, and not miss a beat. It would there be no shadowing. Um, it wouldn't be off. It's it's extremely precise even at that speed. Okay, as you can see, it's almost done with all the engraving, uh, and then the next step will be for it to cut out, which will happen here in just a few moments. As you saw, I made several passes and went around at a, quite a quick rate. It could actually cut it through at a slower speed uh, with one pass. However, the amount of burn and smoke that kicks up um, in doing that can ruin the product, particularly on a white badge like this. You can see I just touched it and I have engraver's dust on my finger. So obviously the next step uh, for this is to be completely cleaned up um, and then where the little bullseye is, uh, is where we add our rotary flat. Um, 
So, and then of course they'll get their back of choosing uh, whether it's a clip pin or a magnet. So, um, here I just wanted to show you some of the things I mentioned before that the capabilities that these lasers allow us to do. So you can see uh, wood, uh, before we had our master brand um, full metal antique brass flats, uh, we would actually etch the first part of the rotary um, master brand into the wood. And then as I mentioned, we can do, here's another wood, we can do marble, uh, we do the black brass plates, and then all sorts of glass and crystal and acrylics. And this is just uh, a small sampling of what we do. Obviously in our catalog, we have a full line of awards and actually even more uh, on the website as well, um, which you can get to at bestclubsupplies.com or uh, going back again decades, ruh.com also as well. So watch your step and come through here. And what we're gonna do is uh, just one more medium is the black brass plates. So these go on a ton of different awards uh, from uh, a lot of marble and glass. We'll get these, uh, a lot of the plaques get these as well. And this is actually an award that goes out uh, to a lot of the uh, board members. I gotta turn the uh, exhaust back on. But uh, for those of you that have served on, on your board of your Rotary Club, uh, you, there's a good chance you may have gotten one of these. But much like the uh, plastic where it etched away, so we can see the name, this does the same thing. These plates come to us, uh, all sorts of different borders and designs, and uh, the laser comes through and removes the, uh, the uh, black painted portion of the plate. Brass piece showing through, and then the same thing uh, after this thing is run completely through. Uh, we'll take it out and clean it, get all the engraver's dust off of there, and uh, polish it up so it shines. Over here is the assembly area. Um, here we keep all the boards, all of the flats, all of the boxes, all of the pieces that go to the bulk of the awards. So you see, this is the name badge that was actually etched over there. Teresa is applying the uh, flat that we mentioned earlier. So you can see uh, the rotary flat is in place. Um, and then soon to come is the magnetic back. And all sorts of awards get done over here. You can see we have some art glass awards that have been, first step for these is gluing. These have been glued together. And then as you can see, this just got a black brass plate like we saw over on the last machine. Um, all gets cleaned up, put on these awards. And uh, next step will be boxed and sent over to shipping to uh, go out to you. All right, out here uh, we have a sand carving machine. So uh, we don't use it uh, for a ton of products, but on some of our higher end uh, crystal items that uh, have the nice deep etch, those come from here. And again, it's a, it's a highly labor intensive process. Um, with uh, lots of potential for error, but uh, when it's done right, there is just nothing that looks as nice as a deep etch from the sandblasting machine. So um, at any rate, we're gonna walk through the warehouse. Uh, this section where we are right now um, houses all of the awards and plaques and clocks and pens and et cetera that belongs to the engraving section. And now, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna work our way through uh, I'm gonna show you our convention area as well as just our general merchandise. So all those things that you see on our catalog and in our on our website. Uh, so follow me. <clears throat> like I said, as we pass through here, there's all sorts of we just pass the high-end pens uh, that we etch and personalize. Here are all the clocks, a lot of the acrylic and glass awards. Um, and then as we make our way out here, this is our convention area. And actually, um, we set up our booths in advance before we travel uh, because we have so many different thousands of SKUs that we actually carry. We want to make sure that we have a nice variety of items, uh, but also make sure it's going to fit on the space allotted. Um, and so we're actually preparing. We leave Saturday, uh, which is in a couple of days for us at the time of this filming, uh, for the International Convention, uh, where the 2017-18 Rotary theme is going to be announced um, and in fact our theme booth was set up here it shipped out on three or four pallets um, 
Actually, here's my suitcase. A couple of things that didn't make it are actually in here. Let me show you. Oh, just kidding, Rotary. You have to wait till Monday um, when the theme is announced. So, at any rate, um, out here you can see this is just the early stages um, skeleton of what is going to be our pet's booth. And so, we try and make sure that we set it up on the smallest possible setting so that way there are no surprises when we get to a hotel and you're put in a neat location where you have to uh, we call it macgyvering things so at any rate um, we'll have all sorts of personal items items for the clubs um, etc and so if you've ever been to a pets conference you know exactly what we're talking about and if you haven't please come see us it's a great opportunity to see the variety of items we have and get some nice personal items uh, for yourself and to market Rotary and your club. Um, so this is the convention area and I'll just move into our general um, warehouse. And so in here we stock thousands of items. Um, as you can see uh, the theme for the current year. Um, we have a, a nice theme section with our banners and our bags and our pins and our ties and our scarves and so much more. <coughs> In addition to that, uh, you can see down here, we have all sorts of, of bags, purses, caps. Here's all, a lot of our drinkware and mugs. We move into all sorts of uh, new member kits, um, all sorts of different things for clubs. There I see some rotary flags. Um, and moving on into uh, our guest speaker gifts. <clears throat> Pens, gifts, uh, looks like we have wallet cards, flash drives, power banks, you name it. It's got a rotary logo on it, we have it. Um, and then here we have all of our stickers and decals. <clears throat> so here everything gets pulled to uh, everything that's been engraved, makes its way out here. All the stock merchandise gets pulled, um, goes into our shipping room, um, gets packed. Uh, the guys will put it on the scale, weigh it, find the most cost-effective way to get it to you by your need-by date, and out the door it goes. Now uh, continue through with me. <clears throat> it is climate controlled out here, but it's still a little cool because it's like 12 degrees outside, in case you're wondering. Um, here we have all of our apparel, and then around here we have a bit of an obstructive view. Uh, we have three dock doors. Um, we have one straight ahead for semi loads. So um, the International Assembly booth I just told you about went out on the three or four pallets. A semi truck came and picked that up and it's taken it to San Diego uh, for us. On the opposite side of our work van here, we have the UPS uh, level dock. So they come a couple times a day to pick up and deliver. And then also, as you can see, we have our work van where we run our, our daily errands. We pick up from suppliers uh, and make drop offs, etc. So as we come this way here, I'm going to give you a peek into the shipping room um, where everything gets packed and packaged and ready to go out for you. <clears throat> so as I said, everything comes in here, uh, gets packed. We have all the supplies, the papers, the peanuts, the boxes of different sizes, gets weighed on the scales. And uh, depending on where it goes, uh, we look at how many days it takes to send it to you the most cost-effective way possible. And the last kind of thing, though, is if you can look over here at this wall of all of these different drawers, those are all different titles of lapel pins. You can imagine the quantity and the number of variations. It's, it's uh, a bit staggering, really. Um, and then it went from one lapel pin to um, then we started offering pin post back and magnet back and then with the new rotary branding uh, we now have that with now in the legacy logo and the master brand logo and pin post and magnetic back so it went from one to four pretty rapidly so we have a lot of a lot of pins on on uh, on hand here but at any rate um, I want to take you through the rest of the building real quick uh, we're gonna stop in and see graphic design next here we are out in front of the um, graphics department and in here uh, these ladies do all of the things that uh, from design of the items that go into the catalog to the layout uh, of the actual items in the book to things that are ready for 
the website and also marketing materials um, for Rotary and marketing materials for Russell Hampton and basically anything you can uh, think of they do it um, year-round when you have needs for your club for your custom items for your trading banners um, these are the ladies that make that happen for you welcome to the second level of the Russell Hampton office uh, up here is, is purely office space, but uh, there's a couple things that are obviously critical to, uh, to our operation. So uh, on, on my left, your right, is uh, Bob's office, and Bob Lau, as you recall, is Generation 3 in the family business, and he is the CEO and Chairman of Russell Hampton currently. And on my right, your left, is his wife Kathy's office, and she is uh, her grandfather, so like I said, my wife's great-grandfather, that started Russell Hampton. and. Uh, she is involved in all sorts of things with uh, product design, and so um, I know a lot of people are familiar with our, our silk ties and scarves uh, and, and other items like that, and so she has a big hand in part to do with that. Um, and now down the way, over here uh, behind the closed door is our server uh, and also where our IT director, Tom, resides, so if you ever have any issues on the web, uh, he's the guy I'm sure you visited with. Through here is the accounts uh, receivable, as well as uh, more web assistance. So uh, over here, Sharon, I'm not here right now, as in charge of keeping the web current, making sure everything's in the right sections and up to date, and basically making sure that um, all the latest and greatest items that we have are up and available for you in real time. And then over here, like I said, uh, Karen, uh, hopefully you don't hear from her. Hopefully uh, all bills are paid on time, uh, but that goes to her and she's wonderful and does a, a great job over here. Um, and so moving on to the other end from uh, receivables to payables, uh, Annie, our accounting director uh, in payables offices here, keeps everything humming along for us. And then finally, the end of the tour, through here, this is our mezzanine, and as you'll see, it's it's roughed out. Right now, we use it for a lot of storage um, of old files, old product, things that uh, we're donating. Um, but it has also been set, this is for our expansion, and so we're going to be renovating and finishing this off and moving all of graphic design up here. We already use it for photography up here in the natural light. Um, and creating more office space as we continue to grow. Um, and then finally, I will give you just uh, a shot here, an aerial view of the overall warehouse. And one last thing, down below, we call it our elevator. It's really a, a man lift but we do take that up and down uh, from time to time. And uh, of course my kids love to ride on it. They're only uh, five, seven, and nine, so they think it's a blast. They want to touch the ceiling. <laughs> At any rate, we really want to thank you for uh, allowing us the opportunity to uh, share a little bit of what we do and to thank you for what you do for Rotary and also thank you for your patronage and uh, allowing us to, uh, to serve you. And uh, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to call us. Uh, you can reach us on our website at ruh.com, um, or you can call us um, obviously on our toll-free line, 1-800-877-8908. Um, um, so again, thank you very much, and uh, we hope to see you all at a Rotary event soon. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, as you can see, Russell Hampton, uh, they go above and beyond to do things well for us. And with that, that is the face and vision that Rotary has put forward. So with that, when you see that, and you see anything that you wanna have in Rotary, check with Russell Hampton. Thank you, we'll see you next week.